Ahoy Explorers! I'm Nia and this is entry number 16. Today we're exploring Aguardiente El Manzanillo and this I managed to obtain in my trip to Galapagos. So I have a quick little vlog here. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed my little vlog. So a little bit of history on El Manzanillo. It is a ranch and the reserve for the giant tortoises in Santa Cruz, Galapagos. It is the second largest uh, giant tortoise reserve. And it's pretty cool as you can see in the images. They um, do have a little bit of population there, which is very interesting because you would think Galapagos is mainly uninhabited. But even driving through it, there was a lot of farms and little houses. So the great thing is that in the area, all the animals in the Galapagos are very protected. So farmers can enclose their property, but the last portion of the enclosure has to be high enough for the tortoises to be able to move through. So basically, if you see a couple of the images in the little vlog, is you'll see the last metal or um, the last line of the fence was a little bit higher than expected because the giant tortoise is actually as slow as they are and as slow as you saw them on the vlog. They actually do travel quite a bit. So I absolutely love that. El Manzanillo also has a really cool restaurant in there. So they make their own rum there, Aguardiente. I know a lot of people are it's are gonna say it's different. I do agree that it's a little bit different in, as far as your traditional rums, but this this rum is made from sugar cane and it's processed and aged the same way. So I'm doing a review on this. The great thing about this one is that it is made in-house. When we got there, we had this amazing, very refreshing cocktail because even though most of the islands are tropical, um, when we went, it was a little bit colder. So when we drove up to Santa Cruz, because where this is, it's a little bit higher in Santa Cruz, the climate got a little bit more tropical. So it was actually really nice and it got very humid. So when we got there, we had this welcome drink that I'm gonna try to recreate today. So that's why it's taking me so long to get to this review. So I'm gonna start with this as always neat. A lot of the aguardientes that I've tried are very heavy on what I would call the licorice or star anise, like the spice flavoring. I'm gonna go ahead and try this just like that, it is a very clear liquid. I'm gonna go ahead and smell this. I don't have my rum aroma training kit out because I honestly think that this is gonna be very simple. It's not gonna be very elaborate. They don't add anything to this, which is incredible. Um, as far as I know, or it says. 
They don't say how many years it's aged, but it is a clear liquid, so I'm gonna assume they do filter it, but let's see. Cheers. The smell, obviously the alcohol. A little bit of sweet sweetness from the sugar cane, I imagine. But definitely the alcohol. As far as the proof, it is 40 proof, so not bad. So I'm bracing for impact because um, I have one of those horror stories with Aguardiente where I got, one night I got really, really drunk when I was a lot younger. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so you get a little bit of the hug as now I'm adopting from last video with Scott. A little bit of a hug. It's very smooth at the same time. I want to say it's a little bit on the sweeter side of the aguardientes that I personally had. Um, but it's not bad. Oh, by the way, they were selling these bottles there and this bottle cost $10. So that's why I also said I was bracing for impact because I didn't expect much from it. So this little bottle was $10 and they had a big bottle like the standard ones that was about $15. This one is uh, 375 cc's um, but it's not that big. But it's very cool because it's made in Galapagos. So I love supporting little distilleries like this. This is not bad at all. I really thought it was going to be worse. I do get some like skunky notes from it and a little bit of sweetness at first. And like I said, the alcohol is not bad. And it's, it's very clear, it's very simple, but it's not bad. As you can see, also I've decorated for Halloween, which is my favorite holiday. I also wore my Nightmare Before Christmas t-shirt today, so I hope you like it. If you do like Halloween, please give me a little pumpkin comment down below. Um, definitely love hearing when people love Halloween as much as I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of ice on this. Because as always, I want to see if something pulls through. I wonder if the sweetness is going to pull through a little bit more. The nose is pretty much the same. I get like a little bit of the, the herbal and then the sweetness from the sugar cane, I imagine. And then, I don't know what it is, but it kind of smells like a little bit botanical. Botanical for sure. But, as far as Aguardientes and the ones I've tried before, this one, if you don't like, because I don't like licorice, as I've mentioned before, and I star in this, I'm okay, but this does not taste that strong like this. Is, I can see how it's a lot more sweeter, but let's go ahead and try it with the ice. Okay, so it definitely smooths out the alcohol burn and the hug on your chest, which is nice. Um, that's why I try not to drink these spirits neat, but I definitely know it helps to like detect the aromas and the nose. But with the ice and the little bit of water that came from the melted ice, it's very smooth for a $10 bottle. Be serious. Come on. This is not bad at all. That's pretty nice. Like I said, it's, it kind of reminds me of, I want to say like a little bit of, if you've ever tried Zambuca, it's a little shot and it helps you, well, we use it in South America when you have a big meal. At the end of the meal, they'll give you like a little shot of Zambuca. It kind of tastes, it has like those elements, but not so much on the heavy liquor side because I know Zambuca, it's like very, very heavy on the licorice, which I personally do not like. So it's kind of like this, but a cleaner Zambuco. Um, obviously this is sugar cane, so it's sweeter. So I actually like this. It 
So, moment of truth. This is treasure chest approved. I'm gonna put it, it's not replacing officially any of my bottles, but I will say that is going to mainly be added to my treasure chest because I have such fond memories of El Manzanillo, the ranch where we saw the giant tortoises, which I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Let me know if you want me to continue to add the vlogs in my video reviews if I do travel to get these rums. I absolutely love traveling, so I love documenting everything and I love finding rare rums like this one. Who would have thought rum from Galapagos? Never in my life, but you know me. I'm a rum enthusiast and love getting rums from everywhere. So it will go into my treasure chest. Um, it's not gonna replace any of the current bottles, but I'll definitely add it in a little corner. And then in the meantime, if you do want to stick around, I'm going to make our welcome cocktail that they serve at El Manzanillo. So if you were just here for the review, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so I can welcome you on board. And if you want to see me make the welcome cocktail, stick with me. Okay, so as far as the welcome cocktail, it was a little bit more difficult to find the elements that they said that were in the recipe. I said it had lemongrass, lemonade, ginger, and it was like a spicy lemonade kind of thing, but then they added a shot of this, and it was so nice because it was like a adult lemonade is what I would call it. So we're gonna try to do this today. So before this video, I hate boring you guys with like me making everything like the whole process so I'm just gonna explain to you real quick what I did I bought lemongrass and I made this so this is I made it into a tea which is what they said um, on there which was lemongrass tea so I'm gonna put the same amount of lemongrass tea I'm gonna grab my glass And I'm gonna put some ice. I don't wanna shake this. Okay, so I put some ice on my glass and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put equal parts lemonade, equal parts tea that I made from lemongrass. I actually had a little bit of difficulty finding the lemongrass and I went to Whole Foods. They did have these little packets with the little sticks. So that's what I use. So I, I know that sometimes herbs tend to bitter if you cook them. So what I did is I boiled water, and once the water was boiled, I took it off the pot, I took it off the heat, and then I put the little stems. They look like stems. Mind you, this is my first time looking at lemongrass per se. Like I love Thai food, so they have a lot of lemongrass in it. But this time I actually bought the little stems. So I threw the little stems in there, let it like process for a couple minutes, and then I put it in a different container, wait for it to cool down, and then they put it in the fridge. So I did this yesterday, and then today before us getting together, I made fresh lemonade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put equal parts lemonade, equal parts the lemongrass tea that I made, and the last thing that I had was ginger. So I actually bought this ginger stir and paste because Originally, I was thinking of just putting little pieces of ginger, but I figured it would mix better if this was already finely chopped and grated. So I'm gonna put just a smidge and I'm gonna play around with the flavors just to see how much actually I need in there for the flavor to be proper. So like I said, I'm gonna start with just a smidge of it and I'm gonna put a little bit, actually I'm gonna start with one and a half ounces of the aguardiente and I'm back. Sorry, I completely forgot to bring my jigger, you know. Uh, I'm trying to get more precise with my recipe so I wanted to go my old school way which is free pouring which is a bad idea. So I'm gonna start with like I said, one and a half ounces for this. And I'm gonna mix it in just to see, you know, how 
it's mixing thus far. And ginger is very overpowering, so and I'm just gonna put a really, really small, small amount, and then try it, mix it and try it. I'm putting just a teeny tiny little bit on the top of my bartending spoon. Bring this there. Okay, here goes the welcome cocktail. So I think that's good, but it's not what I remember the welcome cocktail to be. And I don't know if it's because I put ice in the welcome cocktail. They did not have ice. It was just in this very beautiful, big, um, like what I would put a rum punch in. So I wonder if that diluted, but it mixed incredibly well. I think I put a little bit more lemonade than I would have wanted to. So I'm going to add a little bit more of this lemongrass tea. to give it that more like herbal flavor. And I am gonna add half an ounce of this aguardiente. So at this point it's gonna be two ounces, people. Two ounces, which is what I originally was gonna go with, but I think um, I just didn't want to overdo it. And I think I'm, I do love ginger. I don't know about you. If you do not love ginger, then don't do this next step. But if you do, Add some more because I kind of love that spiciness of the ginger. So I'm gonna add just a smidge more, same amount, just a little, little bit on the edge of the spoon. Okay, let's try with the extra ginger. Um, a little bit more of the lemongrass tea and a little bit more of the aguardiente. And that's it so I basically originally think that as long as you keep the actual parts of the lemongrass tea and the lemon the lemonade that I made so I basically squeezed two lemons in a glass which is I'll show you this big and then I added the remainder so two lemons water and then I added some Splenda because I figured it'd be too acidic so what I should have done is not added the ice what I should have done is added the same amount of portions of the lemongrass tea and then the freshly made lemonade so I could have equal parts because I feel like when I put the lemonade I couldn't tell exactly how much it was because there was ice in there with a little bit of water so I might have put a little bit more than I thought because I was like oh in my mind thinking that obviously there's ice in there so I put a little bit more and I think I overshot it but like this it's delicious so that's my welcome cocktail I nailed it it was a little bit harder to find because of the lemongrass but it's absolutely refreshing and delicious I could definitely see this as a drink poolside with very very low calories because it kind of reminds me of the freshness of like a mojito without all the extra sugar and calories because I did use Splenda on this. It's very refreshing. I personally think next time I might e add even more ginger but this is exactly what the welcome drink tasted like but I am going to say that this is like the welcome drink so I'm just going to leave it there for now. So let me know if you've tried to make this cocktail with aguardiente or your favorite white rum because obviously I would think you'd want to use a white rum for this. Again, I did get the lemongrass at Whole Foods, not sponsored, but it's a very refreshing drink. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it so I can welcome you on board. I am not offering samples of this one as you can imagine it was quite a trip and if you do like my vlogs and my trips I'll leave a card up above of my other vlog of the uh, Havana Club versus Havana Club 
tasting that we did on the yacht that we were on when we were in the Galapagos. So check that one out as well if you like the vlogs and the travel want to see a little bit more of the beautiful enchanted Galapagos Islands. And I look forward to the next round. Signing off here.